Hey guys, it's Santi Radio. All right, so tonight's radio is about cash, Bitcoin, money in Japan. When you come to Japan, when you're talking to Japanese people, you should be careful about these things, okay? Because some things about this, right, creating some wrong image about you, okay? And also tonight, I want to talk about why they think like that, you know, some like cultural differences behind too, okay? All right, as usual, I want to show you one comment. It's from Imanio. Thank you always. And then he said, What do Japanese people think about Bitcoin? Good video idea. <laughs> Thank you, Imanio. It is good video, uh, good, good idea. All right. And I answer him like this. Let me see. Maybe not only Bitcoin, but relating to with the relating with cash believer. So I want to talk about cash believer tonight who believe it's better to use cash instead of credit card or in, uh, any intangible or currencies like Bitcoin, okay? Yeah, and I can make a video. So, as I said in the uh, comments, people, they don't, really, they don't really believe in Bitcoin because, you know, before that, before they think about Bitcoin, they always love cash. Somehow Japanese people, they love cash more than credit card. They like tangible. To be honest, I searched it, I think about it, I don't know why they think like this, but somehow they do. Hmm. And then there are many things that they believe in about cash too. So for, for example, when you're buying something, yeah, cash, if you use cash, you feel more value. Do you? Maybe yes, because you feel that you're using the tangible currencies, so you know, you literally, you touch the cash. So you feel more value, maybe yes, but I feel value when I use credit card. But some people believe like this, not some, many people actually believe like this. So they prefer to use cash, to not, not to use excessively, that's what I said. And also, they believe like this, if you have a wallet, yeah, if you have a wallet, you put the money, let's say, it's my, okay, in my uh, smartphone, okay? I put money here too, my card right here, see? I put money here. Let's say I get one. I have uh, this one, okay? Saiyan, okay? When they put money in the wallet, they go like this. You know why? Because they wanna come, he wanna come back to my wallet. That's why all my bills, right? Money. This way. That's how they, they do. Not some people, many people, they believe like this. So I have more money this year. So it's such a belief, but I don't believe that. You know, I put this and then whatever, and I put it here. But anyway, I don't use cash anyway. So they really believe in using cash is far better than using Bitcoins. And also, Emmanuel, don't forget this. When you talk about Bitcoin, it creates kind of shady image about you. This is, okay, from now, it's more personality, a, per, a more personal uh, idea, okay, perspective. So um, we can discount that point. But anyway, I think that when Japanese people, when they hear about Bitcoin, they think like a, uh, you know, frown. Mm, really, like this kind of face. Especially, let's say you make Bitcoin, uh, make money by Bitcoin. You know what, hey guys, you know what, to Japanese people, okay? Hey, you know what, it's the best investment is Bitcoin, man. Like, buy something, now it's about two, uh, two, how, how much I get now? $20,000, whatever. Anyway, it's uh, became like three times, man, so I make this much money, you know, it's very good. For Japanese people, whatever you said, like this. You know why? Because making money by Bitcoin, or stock market, whatever, it doesn't impress them. Maybe in your country, maybe in America, amount of money you created, it, you made it, it's equally correlated, uh, correlated raise your reputation or image, maybe. But in this country, no. It doesn't matter how much you make, it's more important how you make money. Even though you make money 30K, if you're doing other volunteer work or something good for people, it's far better than the million dollars you make by those things. And if you blog about this, if you talk about this, it just go backfire. So just be careful. 
if you have Japanese friends. And if Japanese, your Japanese friend love you because, or let's say if you have a girlfriend, if your girlfriend love you because you make money by this, I would say, <laughs> okay, I don't say anything, but you please read the atmosphere, okay? I'm Japanese and I'm nice to my subscriber. But anyway, so you know what I mean? So uh, please just be careful. All right. I talk about this, right? This guy. Yeah. This guy keep talk. He's a swindler. The biggest comment in Japan so far. Not so far. La this year, 2020, the biggest comment. Everyone know him. He is a the swindler. He quickly recap, okay? He just keep he, he just keeps saying like I'm from Google, whatever engineer. I made a huge like, M and A, whatever. And then uh, I did M and A. I have a hundred million dollars asset, and I have a villa in, in Indonesia, in the world, whatever. I have tons of money, and showing off the Uber at the expensive watch, car, whatever. Everything is copycat or either rent copycat or just a photo making shop. He was just nothing, just talk. I went to Hawaii University, I graduated there, you know what, da, da, da. He just went there for what? English school for three months. Anyway, he is full of shit. Septic tank. I learned this from Ireland, anyway. Yeah, full of shit. So this guy, he keeps saying this on Twitter, Instagram. You know what happened? He got a three over 3,000 membership and he was making $2 million every month by mem membership. And he became actually rich by this. <laughs> you know how funny this is? He was boasting around, but now he became really rich because of this. <laughs> but people wonder, wait a minute, I was in the Google, but I didn't see him. You know what I mean? So there are actually people who went to the high university or who was Google, who doing the actual M&A. They found out this guy is full of shit. And they start digging about his path, uh, personality and also his just, you know, background check. And then he was full of shit. There are some people still believing this. But I don't think he's gonna be big again, come back to the you know public again anymore. Maybe he keep just uh, extra money from those believers. Anyway, in this country, how much do you make money? Yes, important, but how you make money more important. Let's say you make money by Bitcoin. You make money, uh, let's say, let's say you make one, let's say you make $500,000 every year by Bitcoin, let's say, okay? But if you work, at one of the big corporations like Toyota, and you make $60,000, that Toyota guy will have far more better reputation than you. No offense. So don't come to Japan <laughs> if you want to be, I don't know, you know, uh, just talk about this and brag about this. Don't come because uh, just creating bad image. However, there are some countries like America. America is the best way. They love show off. They praise. They respect people make money, you know, and then became president. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So uh, they have some, the, some s atmosphere, I guess. They just uh, respect American dreams. But in this country, no. Even though you have money, do not say it. So it looks humble. It looks poor but he is actually rich you you see this kind of tendency a lot in this country a lot yeah seriously that's how i think sorry emmanuel if i offend you sorry do become whatever you want you know just do whatever you want but uh when you talk about this with the japanese people just be careful yes and about the concept of money how they do how they make yeah just to be aware of that so you know how to communicate better way i guess that's it. If you like it, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.